Hello, Poppets. My name is Novice and Namana. Do 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 do. And Namana. Do 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 do. So, I'm going to be reading you this day in June, which is an absolutely gorgeous book. And it's a book that I didn't have read to me when I was little because it is an LGBT plus book. And it is the wonderful thing that we have in society now where there are LGBT books for children, which is amazing because that didn't happen when I was little. So it's my pleasure to read this to you today. Now, just as a small note, that this book is supposed to be read to little people and it gives instructions on what to talk about and how to explain the different pages and spreads in this book. So we'll start with the reading guide, if you will, for an explanation of the images and allusions in the book, as well as some more information about lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender, LGBT, history and culture, read on. So this day in June, parade starts soon. Although Pride celebrations can be held any time during the year, they are traditionally held in June to commemorate the Stonewall Riots. On the morning of June 28th, 1969, police conducted a routine raid at the Stonewall Inn, which was a gay bar in the Greenwich Village, New York. It was common during that time period for gay bars to be raided by the police. That night in June was different, however. Patrons of the bar fought back against the police and resisted arrest which led to a three-day protest now known as the Stonewall Riots. The Stonewall Riots are considered to mark the beginning of gay liberation movement. Rainbow Arches and Joyful Marches. The rainbow flag is commonly associated with the LGBT community. People may wear a rainbow flag symbol as a way of identifying themselves as a member or an ally of the LGBT community. They may also wear a rainbow as a symbol of pride. The LGBT community is very diverse and the rainbow flag reflects the diversity. Each colour of the rainbow represents a different element. Red, meaning life, orange, healing, yellow, sunlight, green, nature, blue, serenity or harmony, and purple, spirit. This is talking about the flag with six colours. The original had eight. Or seven, I forget. It had hot pink, I think turquoise as well. Motors roaring, spirits soaring. Most pride parades start with a contingent of lesbians riding motorcycles. This is more common in the USA. Lesbians have long been associated with motorcycles, sometimes as a stereotype and sometimes as a symbol of feminism and visibility. Usually the word dyke is considered to be a derogatory term. However, the gay and lesbian community has long a history of reclaiming negative terms and using them within the LGBT plus community. The word gay, for example, was at one time considered to be derogatory, but now is very commonly used. Voices chanting, doggies panting. Because people who are gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgender, LGBT, have faced discrimination, there has been a long story of activism in the LGBT community. In the 1960s and 1970s, people who are LGBT fought to remove homosexuality as a psychiatric diagnosis from the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, brackets DSM. In June 1972, Queen's school teacher Jean Manford marched with her gay son Morty in New York's Christopher Street Liberation Day March, the precursor to today's Pride Parades. The enthusiastic reaction she received led her, along with her husband and other gay rights activists, families and allies, to create PFLAG the nation's largest organisation for parents, families, friends and straight allies united with the LGBT people to move equality forward. 
With its mission of support, education and advocacy, PFLAG recently celebrated its 40th anniversary. In the 1980s, groups like AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, ACT UP, formed to raise awareness about the impact of HIV and AIDS on the gay community. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, the LGBT community worked to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the military policy that prevented people who were openly gay or lesbian from serving in the military. More recently, the LGBT community has started to win decade-long battles for legal recognition of same-sex marriage and workplace fairness. Pride celebrates typically... Pride celebrations typically have an element of political awareness and activism. Clad in leather, perfect weather. The association between gay men and leather originated in the post-World War II era. It provided and an alternative to the image of the stereotyped gay men as feminine. Leather also provided a symbol of visibility for gay men. In 1950s, it was generally not safe for people to be openly gay, and thus the leather jacket became a way for gay men to identify other gay men. Later, leather became associated with the lesbian community, mainly as an expression of feminism. Artists painting sister sainting, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, is a group of artists, activists and self-described nuns for the queer community that formed in San Francisco in 1979. The sisters organised primarily to advocate safe sex practices and to help AIDS patients when other social services or community groups would not. The group is devoted to the community service and outreach and to promoting human rights and respect for diversity. Banners swaying, children playing. Like the rainbow flag, the pink triangle is a familiar symbol in gay and lesbian community. During the Holocaust, gay men and lesbians were imprisoned and forced to wear arm badges with symbols identifying the group they belonged to. Jewish people wore a Star of David, gay men wore a downward pointing pink triangle, and lesbian women wore a downward pointing black triangle. Now members of the LGBT community may wear the pink triangle as a symbol of pride. Dancers jumping, music pumping. The acts have always been an integral part of gay culture, the arts, sorry, and same sex love and gender bending themes have found their way into the arts for centuries. For example, cross-dressing and playing with gender expression were common themes in a number of Shakespeare's plays, including Twelfth Night and As You Like It. During the 1950s, when it was not safe to identify publicly as gay or lesbian, many gay men sought expression in musical theater. Gay men have also been drawn to, dan to the dance world, as well as to the wide variety of other creative and artistic endeavours. In a culture that is largely homophobic, many LGBT people have found a welcoming and accepting environment in the arts. Sidewalk shaking, tummies aching. Since the 1990s, more lesbian and gay couples have chosen to become parents. While many lesbian and gay men parent children from previous heterosexual relationships, many same-sex couples are choosing to have children of their own. Lesbian couples may choose to have children through donor insemination, while gay male couples may have a child by using a surrogate. Another possibility available to gay men and lesbian couples is adoption. However, not every state allows, this is in America, state allows same-sex couples to adopt children, and not every state grants parenting rights to non-biological parents. Children of lesbian and gays everywhere, collage, is a resource for people who have lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender parent. In, a day, in addition to numerous web-based resources, collage has chapters in several major and mid-sized cities throughout the United States. In addition, the Gay Straight Alliance Network helps to connect school-based gay straight alliances 
GSAs together and provides resources and to support them. It also provides resources to teens who wish to start a GSA in their own school. Painted Ladies Crying Babies. San Francisco is well known for being a gay mecca. The Castro is a district in San Francisco and it is the largest gay neighborhood in the world. San Francisco was always home to Harvey Milk, the first openly gay man to be elected to public office in California. The Painted Ladies refers to the row of colorful Victorian houses overlooking Alamo Square, a neighborhood in San Francisco. My video is about to stop recording. So I've left you off at a neighborhood in San Francisco and I will come back to you and read fancy dresses in flowing tresses.